So I don't usually cover this sort of topic, usually my videos are about ridiculous things I see on the internet, possibly TV shows, but this story is just so dark and disturbing I just had to cover it today. This is the story of Stephen McCullough who, if found guilty in this case, is probably the most evil streamer in YouTube history. This is the case where Stephen McCullough faked a live stream as an alibi for murdering his girlfriend Natalie McNally, who sadly was a few months pregnant at the time of her death. I've been following this story for a few weeks now and I just have to point out now that although Stephen McCullough has been charged for this murder, he's not actually been found guilty yet. All the information I'm gonna go through is publicly available through articles and social media, so I'm just going over what I've found online about the story. The Belfast Telegraph reported, this is the video gaming session Natalie McNally's boyfriend claimed he was playing at the time police believe the mum-to-be was brutally stabbed to death in her own home. Stephen McCullough's alibi was poured over by cops, leading to his re-arrest and a charge of murder. But the 32-year-old insists he had nothing to do with Natalie's killing and was at home on the night of December the 18th. The YouTube stream showing him playing the video game Grand Theft Auto Vice City while wearing a Santa hat at the top, at the top right of the screen is a vital pillar in the prosecution case. Stephen McCullough is a YouTuber who mainly covers uh, Doctor Who toys and figures. So what happened is, on the night of Natalie's murder, Stephen went live on his channel. The live stream is still up right now at the time of this recording. The live stream was six hours long and this was used as an alibi for Stephen during the time of Natalie's murder. I mean, what better alibi do you have? You are streaming live at home and you've got potentially thousands of witnesses. So initially Stephen was arrested and when he said that he was live streaming from home, the police checked his channel and lo and behold there was a live stream at the time of Natalie's murder and he was just let go. Although this did work for a brief time, police just weren't convinced and they poured over the evidence which is the uh, live stream which is still up on his channel and something just didn't sit right with the, with the police. Stephen wasn't responding to all of the live chats and Stephen was even going to the extent of constantly men mentioning that he, he wasn't able to respond to the chat due to a technical issue. Well, because this streaming software is kind of up the left, it means I can't check the live chat, which is a real shame. Can't look at the live chat for some bloody reason, because if I do, it makes the whole thing freezing. I mean, I, c I can just picture it now. Uh, Stephen must have thought that he was some criminal mastermind, some, <laughs> some evil genius. Sadly for Galaxy Brain Stephen McCullough, Police spotted him on CCTV pretty much his entire journey to Natalie's home and back again. We live in a society where we're filmed constantly in public, and how he thought he was going to get away with this is just beyond me. So although police saw Stephen on CCTV uh, travelling to and from uh, the murder scene, they still had this this six hour live stream that took place during Natalie's death. So how the hell did he do it? Is it, was it did he watch a lot of David Blaine when he was a kid? I mean what? Nope, it was a simple hack that anyone can do. Although technically it was a live stream, the actual footage, the content, was pre-recorded and just fed through his YouTube channel. Which to me shows so much premeditation, uh, it's just, just beyond, beyond words. And when you actually watch the live stream itself, which again is still on his channel as I'm speaking now, it probably will get taken down at some point, there are multiple red flags which are pretty chilling to say the least. We're going to go through some of that right now. He mentions right at the beginning of the live stream, planting the necessary seed, saying that uh, due to uh, a glitch or an error on his computer, he's not a, he's not going to be able to respond to the individual live chats that you get on on the, on the live feeds. So the reasons he gave were just sort of technical reasons, saying that if he responded in the chat, it would crash his computer. Yeah, well done, Stephen. You absolute criminal mastermind you are. Ga absolute galaxy brain. A lot of uh, YouTube and Twitch streamers never interact with, with the live chat. They never interact with their viewers and that's fine. He could have just um, he could have just said nothing and it wouldn't have raised so much suspicion. So Stephen just goes on and on and on about the fact that he's not going to be able to reply to the, the chat and the reason why he can't reply to the chat is because this isn't a true live stream. It's a pre-recording that's just fed through his uh, live stream on his channel. It's the classic uh, over explaining something it, it is a sign of guilt and he's that much of an idiot he just thought that this would work. He says something like, oh I could check the chat on my phone but I get addicted to my phone. Uh, okay. <laughs> this explanation just goes on way too long. Most of it is just complete babble which is probably a good representation of his, uh, his IQ level. 
There are plenty other chilling uh, red flags within this live stream. He does keep on um, reiterating the fact that he is live, which is something that, that people uh, would say maybe a couple of times, but it's pretty obvious that it, it is a live stream, so yeah, you don't need, need to keep on saying it. Presumably the function of that is to convince everyone that this is live, he's sat at home doing a live stream whilst poor Natalie's getting murdered. He keeps saying he's staying inside all night, he's um, showing, he's tilting the camera to, to show the uh, the Christmas tree uh, in, in the room, and it's just the fact that the, the game he's playing on the live stream live stream is Grand Theft Auto Vice City. It just makes it even more, as we all know, some of the missions within that game, the, the, the object of the game is to murder people. Brilliant. But the most chilling part of this live stream has to be this. You have to see it to believe it. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's that's physics. That's that's what would happen in the real world. Absolutely fucking notly. Hmm. Absolutely fucking notly. So completely without any context at all, he mentions the name Natalie in a, in a really unfunny, punning way. And after he says this, he gives a little glance to the camera, makes eye contact with the camera with a little stupid smirk on his face. Although he says some pretty chilling and disturbing things within this live stream, this part has to be, has to be the, the scariest in my opinion. So just to be clear, I'm not just saying this, uh, the police have confirmed that this live stream was faked. They uh, obviously seized all of his devices and found this pre-recorded live stream uh, content that was um, recorded, um, I think, a few days before Natalie's murder. Although McCullough has uh, admitted that the live stream was faked, he's since uh, remained adamant that he's had nothing to do with Natalie's death and he was just drinking at home on the night of her murder. As if there wasn't enough compelling evidence against McCullough regarding this murder, he even went to the length of planting his own phone in uh, Natalie's parents' house as a surveillance tool to record audio to check to see if they um, suspected him of being involved. I mean, what, what is wrong with this guy? Does he, th does he think he's living in an, an episode of Scooby-Doo or something? How did he think this was going to work? With all this mountain evidence, I just can't see a scenario whereby he's going to be found not guilty. To murder someone is one thing, but to be this stupid to have the intelligence of a child that would probably dip their chips in bird shit if they were left unattended, it's just beyond belief. So as I've said, this live stream is still on his channel. I can't even believe his channel is still there, let alone this video itself, because it is pretty much evidence at this point. Obviously, since this story has come out, many people have flocked to this video and left their own comments. Some comments are people um, making tributes to, to Natalie, uh, which rightfully so. I did leave a comment of my own. I thought I would leave a comment that reflects what is important in all of this. So I must really enjoy punishing myself because I've decided to go down this rabbit hole a little bit further. I found Stephen's Twitter account. There is a, an interesting tweet here that I found. Stephen obviously uh, met someone uh, in uh, in real life and he quote tweeted uh, this person. And Stephen's tweet says, nice meeting you again. And whoever this person is has deleted their tweet. I'd imagine they've deleted their own tweet since all of this has come to light, which is fair enough, they don't want to be associated with this person, seeing as how what he's very evident, evidently done. But what I really wanted to show you was this tweet that was posted after Natalie's murder. Nine years gone today, missed now more than ever. Cherish the women in your lives, their absence makes you realise just how much you learn from them and how strong they were for you. Mothers matter, make sure they know that before it's too late, rest in peace. When I saw this tweet, um, it sent a shiver down my spine. Natalie was a was an expecting mother herself, and he must have posted this in an attempt, yet again, to make him seem uh, innocent in the whole situation. This just seems like pure evil to me, and it also just reflects just how stupid Stephen must be. Since all of this has come out, there are replies to that tweet calling Stephen a murderer, etc, etc. Um, I'm not going to bother getting into all that, people are obviously upset. To post something like this after what he has evidently done, remember at the time of this recording uh, the trial is still outstanding, but to post something like this, I just don't know what to say. I think I'm going to leave it there everyone before I get even more disturbed about the whole thing. It'd be interesting to um, to see what the outcome is. I'm sorry this hasn't been a, a funny video as such, um, normal service will be resumed soon. Uh, in the meantime just share this around and um, leave a comment, let me know what you think. But anyway, I'll um, what I'll do is I'll put a link of one of my more funny videos in to just to counteract how dark this actually is. Uh, look forward to seeing you again.